Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jace here from Gen Z Reptiles and this will be part two of our breeding plans for the 2022 season. We've got some real heat in this video. I'm excited to show you guys. Let's see some snakes. Up first, we've got our boy Crush here and Crush is kind of similar to our sugar boy except for he's calico and instead of pastel, he's carrying orange dream. So he's a calico Enchi Orange Dream, and he is a stunner of a snake. We have similar plans with him that we do for Luca, and we'll show you the females. First girl he will be going to is this Black Pastel, and uh, we're gonna be shooting for those Campfire Project animals. So just a reminder, if you forgot, Campfire is Calico Cinnamon Enchi, or we replace it with Black Pastel. Um, the Cinnamon with Black Pastel will have a similar interaction. And then hopefully the orange dream will add that other uh, elements of orange to it just to brighten that orange. So we're really excited about this pairing. This girl right here will also help us increase our odds for that campfire type animal. She is a eight ball. So there's cinnamon and black pastel on there for sure. The other things that are possible from this pairing would be uh, mystic and pinstripe. So we'll prove her out this year and see if she's carrying anything else. Um, she has all these really cool gold flecks that come up. So I've joked around being like, oh, it's like an opposite banana where instead of it getting black spots, it's getting gold specks. I'm not sure if it's showing up really well on camera or not, but um, as she ages, she's getting more and more of those spots. So that's pretty cool. This girl is actually the mom to that last one that we just showed, and she is a cinnamon mystic pinstripe. She's got these really beautiful dark chocolatey tones to her and you can actually still see that pinstripe patterning on the side which is awesome. I love pattern in a dark snake. The other thing that I really like about her is this uh, beautiful gold dorsal that goes all the way down her back which follows the inside line of that pinstripe so that's awesome as well. But we're excited about this pairing once again because we could hit those uh, campfire type animals so and this one will hit hopefully the legit campfire which is the Cinnamon Enchi Calico. And it looks amazing with Pinstripe. Josh, what is that combo called? I'm blanking. Is it Toasted Marshmallow or something like that? They have Bonfire, whatever. They have all these different names related to it. So um, we can hit some of those combos. I don't think Mystic has been hit in that yet. So that could be another thing. It might look like crap. It might look really good. We'll see. Hopefully we'll hit some of those combos as well. It's time to get those sunglasses out, folks, because we've got our DG GHI pastel boy here and he is bright as can be this boy Man, I'm so excited for the things that he has the potential to produce. We're gonna be going um, For a couple different projects with him and I'm super excited to share this with you This is probably my favorite breeder male that we have at the moment Probably honestly that my favorite snake that we have just the colors are just so unreal. It's super bright So uh, we'll show the females he's going to here in a second this girl right here looks a little bit plain Jane, but honestly, this is probably one of our most anticipated clutches of the season, given that she goes, but she is a pastel het for desert ghost. So this will be our first shot at producing our own desert ghosts. And with that last boy, he has pastel as well. So we could be hitting a super pastel desert ghost, which super pastel and desert ghost looks absolutely amazing. You know already what one copy of pastel does by seeing that last boy. So getting two copies will be crazy. And then we also have the opportunity to possibly hit a super pastel GHI Desert Ghost. And to our knowledge, that hasn't been hit before. I haven't seen one stacked uh, Desert Ghost combo that doesn't look good. So I have a hunch that this one's gonna look pretty sweet if we're able to hit it this year. And here we have an Azanthic Lesser. So that's the VPI line of Azanthic. And you guys know we love that uh, DJ Azanthic combination. So we haven't hit any of those visuals. We're actually just starting. We're at the baby phases of that project. We produced two of our first double hats last year, and this year we're hoping to produce some more double hats, this being one of the combinations. Um, you guys probably already know what GHI Lesser looks like, and that combo looks pretty sweet, so imagine that with the double recessive down the road. We're, we're looking at a few years down the road, but still, that's uh, I think it's just gonna look incredible. And the last girl that he'll be going to is this girl right here. She is really dark, and this was actually one that we picked up as an import. I believe Nerd was the one who originally imported this animal, and she is just so dark. Um, she has vibes similar to some of the other dark stuff, but the pattern just looks different. So similar color palette to like, what would you say, Josh? Stranger or um, Mahogany, that kind of a color palette 
but yeah, super dark. The pattern's a little bit different. So hopefully we'll be able to prove this out. And if it does prove out, we're thinking about calling it the abstract, unless we figure out it's just uh, another iteration of like Stranger or Mahogany or something along that lines. We'll figure it out as it goes. But yeah, that I think that'll be cool because then we're gonna get, hopefully if this passes on, some really dark stuff into Desert Ghosts. And I think that's on tapped right now. Most people are going for the brightest of the bright, which I'm a fan of, I support all the way. But also I think they're missing out on some of the dark stuff. I think it will clean it up really nice we decided to show these two boys together so they are both wookie phantom hep hides and you probably have seen them before on our channel because we hype these boys up they just deserve the hype they're awesome and they're gonna be our first shot at making wookie pods to our knowledge this is another combination that has not been hit maybe somebody has hit it and it's just sitting on the shelf i'm um, not being shown online anywhere but um, yeah, we're super excited about this project as well. And these boys will kind of be tag team in it. Hopefully they're both stud breeders, but you just never know, especially gonna be their first season breeding. So um, they hopefully will get the job done, but between the two of them, they're gonna take care of four females. So obviously we wanna hit those Wookiee pods. So they're gonna go to some pieds or pied carrying animals. And this is the first one. She is a high pattern piebald. We don't really know how the Wookiee is gonna interact with pied. There's some genes like spider and cinnamon that just basically leave you with mostly a white snake and some color on the head, which looks cool. But sometimes you could also get those combos to show a little bit more if you're starting with a pie that has a little bit more canvas to work with. So we're gonna shoot up uh, for some Wookiee pies with this much pattern on it, hopefully, and see how that goes. And then our next female is a little bit different. And this girl right here is the other one. She has a little bit more white on her and a little bit less of the patterning. She's still uh, probably in like 50 to 70% range of pattern on her, but yeah, she throws some big clutches. All of her babies come out really pretty. They have like just nice bright colors on there. So this will be the second visual pied that between the two of them, they'll get it done. So this right here is one of the girls from our Het Pied arsenal. And the reason we're going with Het Pied, even though it reduces the odds, is that this girl lays big clutches. She is a consistent producer and her babies throw some really interesting patterns. So they tend to be high pattern, low white, but the oranges on them are just like neon orange, which is awesome. I think that could have an interesting interaction. And one more thing I wanted to mention is I keep saying just Wookie Pied, Wookie Pied, but those boys both carry Phantom and you see how dark that is. So we have potential to possibly hit some really neat stuff having both of those genes in the Pied. Maybe it'll resemble something like a Mahogany Pied, but just a little bit darker. I don't know, who knows what it's gonna look like, but I know that Phantom Pieds look really cool. Hopefully the Wookiee Pieds will look cool and have the, having those two jeans, that's just gonna be awesome. And we got another Het Pied. She's also a big clutch layer. So she had how many eggs last year? Nine. It was nine eggs. And um, this girl also has some really interesting pattern on the bottom side there towards the, so where the Het Pied markers usually show up. She has a lot of that pattern along the whole body. So that showed up in some of her het pied offspring or yeah, they were het pied, possible het pied offspring, but you could tell the ones that were carriers for sure. Another thing with this girl is that she has a range of pies that she throws. So some of them, we hit a decent amount of the high, high white pies. And then we also hit um, one that was like super low white that had this insane pattern. So we'll see this, it's a, gonna be a mixed bag on this clutch. But once again, another opportunity to hit that combo, Wookiee Pies and Phantom Wookiee Pies. And this right here is our boy Roscoe. And from a quick glance, he doesn't look like too much, but when you look closer, you can see that that pattern is kind of nuts. So this is a visual puzzle male. And uh, the puzzle is, I, I think it's somewhat comparable, uh, comparable to Clown in that when you start stacking different stuff on top of it, it just really brings that pattern out. So you start stacking different genes and you can really tell what that puzzle does. Um, he's gonna be making a bunch of hats for us this year. And also hopefully if he gets the job done, we have a female that's carrying one copy of the puzzle gene. So maybe we'll see some visual puzzles for the first time at Gen Z this year. So this is that girl that's carrying one copy of the puzzle gene. She is a cinnamon pastel, so that's pewter het puzzle. And um, she is a big, big girl. I'm blanking on how many eggs she had. Was it seven eggs? Yeah, it was seven eggs this past season. And um, she actually ended up going with our Wookiee boy. So we got some pos hats from him this past season, but hopefully this season, Roscoe will get it done and we'll see some visual puzzles out of this clutch. 
We got a feisty girl here. She loves to hiss. This girl's name is London, and she is a spot nose leopard Mojave. And she was actually from a leopard to leopard pairing. So um, potential for that super leopard in there. We're not entirely sure. Hopefully we'll prove that out in this upcoming clutch. But um, you guys know what the Batman is. That's the spot nose leopard clown. We're kind of shooting for that, but in puzzle instead of a clown. And we have an arsenal of our het puzzle females from last year that we made growing up. So hopefully we'll be on our way if we hit a male spot nose leopard out of this. We've seen the spot nose leopard puzzle. It looks awesome it looks crazy and uh hopefully we can hit it with mojave in that combination because mojave puzzles are just like insane if you guys haven't seen those definitely look them up because like that that's a simple combo mojave puzzle but it's like one of my favorite puzzles and the last girl that we're going to be pairing them to is this girl right here it is a sugar pastel vanilla mojave het ghost and so this is going to be a repeat pairing from last year we ended up holding back dang near the whole clutch from this past season. And so we wanted to produce some more, maybe for some holdbacks and also to give other people the opportunity to get into the project. Since we didn't release any last year and we had a lot of inquiries, we're gonna repeat the pairing and hopefully get some more stacked het puzzle, males and females to make available to you guys. And the last boy in our 2022 lineup for breeder males is gonna be this boy right here. He is a desert ghost, so that's the visual desert ghost. And unfortunately he's in shed, so you don't get to see his true beauty right now. But he is also het for pied. So he's got some tracks down there and we're super excited to be jumping into this. This will be the start to our double recessive project of the desert ghost pieds. And that is something that if you guys haven't seen that, definitely go Google that right now because they look absolutely insane like all of the other desert ghost stuff that we've seen and are talking about we're just so excited about this gene we've never seen it uh, make anything look worse it only makes stuff look better it's definitely an enhancer of a recessive so um we're excited to get into this project and we'll show the few females that he's going to and of course we want to take advantage of him carrying the het pied so we're going to breed it to this girl who is just a visual pied and hopefully hit some pied het desert ghosts um she is uh, probably closer to like the 40 to 50 percent um, pattern of pied so that'll be good that leaves us some canvas to work with but gives you that nice classic pied look and the second girl who we'll be going to is our jack-o-lantern pied right here um, she's actually just a regular base gene pied nothing else super special going on with her but she does have some really nice coloration anyway the goal with pairing them to these two pieds is obviously to hit some pied het for desert ghost stuff so we keep back as many of those females as we can hit. And down the road, what we're hoping to do, we've seen some of the light stuff come out. It looks amazing. We'd love to hatch that stuff. So like Orange Dream, um, Yellow Belly looks really good. I'm sure Enchi and Fire would look amazing. But another thing that we think people are sleeping on a little bit is going the dark direction with the Desert Ghost Pied. So um, there's a lot of dark pied stuff that looks really good. And Desert Ghost has this effect on dark stuff where it makes it clean and makes the blacks pop. So I think there's potential that is just untapped at the moment that hopefully we'll be able to see within, I don't know how many years down the road, but yeah, both directions would be awesome. And the third girl in the lineup to go to our Desert Ghost Het Pied boy is this one right here. She is my favorite Azanthic that we have in the collection because of how well she kept her colors through adulthood. She just looks amazing, super nice and light gray. Um, and obviously the goal with this one is to hit some triple het. So we'd hit for sure double het Azanthic DG, but then we'd hit pos het pieds. And the idea behind that is that hopefully we'd be able to see some het pied indicators in the offspring and hold those ones back. And um, we also have the added bonus of getting pinstripe into the project as well. So we love our DG Azanthic stuff. If we can hit a triple with DG Azanthic and Pied, that's just going to be insane. That does it for our 2022 lineup. That's a dozen males, about 40 or so females. And if we hit anywhere from 30 to 35 clutches, we'll be stoked. Last year we hit 20, so that'll definitely help progress us and increase the clutch size. With that being said, I did want to mention that we are entering a super busy part of the year for me and Josh. Um, that'll include a lot of different things. One of the things we're hoping to do is get uh, find a new facility to move into. So we'll keep you guys posted on that. That's going to be a heck of a process among everything else. And to keep the content fresh with the time we have we're going to be doing one video a week higher quality than just spreading it out to mediocre videos so one quality video per week every saturday at noon 
stay tuned for those. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that as we're winding down and the temperatures are changing, we have a limited number of snakes left on our morph market. So our hope is to get them all ready to go and shipped out before it gets too cold. And they are gonna be, um, we're gonna be running some good deals on those. So we do a discount for groups and we also do a discount for our YouTube fam. So 10% off, we appreciate you guys. Um, and I think that's all I really have. So uh, we really appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you guys next Saturday.